All right, what's up, YouTube? I know I don't do a whole lot of uh, videos. Uh, however, uh, I am going to start doing some unboxings of uh, different kits I get. If there is uh, anything that you want to see, uh, comment below. Just let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, I also do these on stream, so uh, if I want to do the unboxing, chances are it will be a live stream at twitch.tv slash Melonhead Orion. Uh, appreciate if you stop in there and check it out. Uh, if you ever want to see any and get any tips, uh, learn something new or just kind of hang out, any is good for me. Uh, for this, uh, I did get this off eBay. Normally they average 60-ish dollars, depending on where you get it, of course. Uh, I found this on eBay for $45. This is brand new in the plastic uh, packaging still. I did remove the plastic uh, just to make sure that the contents uh, weren't bogus. Uh, so this is a, uh, you know, I, I looked at it just to make sure. So I have seen it, but I really haven't looked at everything. So we're going to do that right now. Um, this one comes in two or three versions, two that I know for sure. It's this one, which is the original. Uh, and then there is the one with that is basically a new tool to, uh, or with extra parts version. Um, mainly the big difference with it is the slat armor for the cabin. A uh, couple minor differences with the lighting areas and um, some photo etch parts that it comes with and whatnot. Uh, however, this same kit, or the same kit, the newer tooled version, you can basically do everything with this one that you can with the other one out of the box. This one you just have to spend a little bit of extra money for photo etch and uh, whatever extras you want to put on it, which is what I plan to do with this. Um, metal tracks, uh, all the photo etch, I might do the slat armor, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, but I plan on doing a lot of aftermarket parts and kit, uh, whatnot with this one. So, uh, we're just going to open this one up real quick, we'll see what's inside. Uh, and I'll discuss a little bit. So like I said, I have opened it already so I don't have to remove the plastic. Um, Meng is a Chinese based company as far as I know um, so the problem that you run into with trying to get this off of eBay is you will see a ton of sellers from China uh, maybe Hong Kong uh, that sell that and uh, with what I know um, and not to sound bad or anything but a lot of the ch uh, sellers from China tend to be those that recreate the original product and sell it for profit so they might use a mold of the original uh, the real kit and use that until it dies and you know over time the mold gets bad and you get crappy uh, kits not only that but it's stealing from the company that that makes the model so if you're gonna do the eBay option just be aware of that you know um, do whatever you wish, but uh, I personally don't go for the China sellers because of that reason. Now, pulling out some of the kits, they, they're very minimal as far as what they put on the, the sprues. Um, you know, these are a couple major parts. It's got some smaller uh, uh, metal handles, but this looks to be uh, a main part of the, the, the front end of the body. Uh, that's pretty much all they put in there and then you know obviously you can see here this is probably another part of the body somewhere again they use very they put very minimal parts onto this kit or onto the screw rather but from what I can see uh, the details pretty decent uh, there's really nothing too special that that sticks out from what I can tell right away um, but the parts look very clean uh, not a whole lot of uh, um, not a whole lot of marks on them or uh, discrepancies from what I can see right away Here these ones out. but there are there are many bags that see obviously since I said they they minimize what they put on the sprues there's going to be a lot of uh, different, a lot of different uh, sprues. So you might run into an issue where you have to 
look through many sprues to find the one that you need, so it's going to be a good idea to uh, sort them however, whatever you prefer, but uh, you're going to end up having to sort them so that way you're not fumbling through sprues all the time. It's like internal components. You can see this be one of the radios. Uh, it is decent quality. Let me try to get some of the glare off. But it is, it's decent quality. You know, decent uh, detail on there. Um, you know, parts like this kind of show it where it's uh, spaces in between all the plastic. But so far, it's a very nice looking kit. Um, I'd be kind of worried about putting these on there because that is really thin plastic. Uh, but all in all, it looks very nicely detailed. Uh, you get some uh, rubber. Uh, let's see, is that? It, it is a hollow uh, rubber hose uh, that I have confirmed. I can see that there is a hollow part in the inside. Um, here are the wheels. You know, all the individual uh, wheels, all the large, uh, all the large gears. They do also give you uh, the the clear plastic. Uh, it is uh, already colored in a light blue or green or whatever you want to call it. Um, pretty straightforward there. Just clear sheets of uh, of plastic. Looks like they might give you. You can either go with the the colored, or there's the non-colored. From what I can see, there should be enough windows there on one sprue to do it either way, and I think they just give you different colors. Maybe it might be inside or outside, I'm not really sure yet. So that's... All right, so here we go again. This is part of the cabin, uh, the roof of the cabin. Uh, again, really nice detail. Very little that you'll have to do as far as fixing it. Again, more parts of the cabin. Um, another part of the instruments, really good detail on there. Again, a lot of this detail probably won't matter by the time I'm done because I'll be doing a lot of photo etch on it. Um, but here, part of the uh, the running gear. Uh, really nice detail on the suspension here. Really like that, the, uh, the blade arms. Um, I'm assuming this is parts of the bottom. And, and the front. Um, Self-explanatory, nothing special here. Uh, here we have the blade. The blade actually looks very nice. Uh, by the time I drain it all up, it's not gonna matter because, well, I'm gonna get a lot of weathering done on it. And just more random parts. So, good with that. Now, the <laughs> The best part about doing a model is tracks, and you know, I love doing individual tracks. <laughs> uh, that's just kidding, of course. But as far as I know, these are all working tracks. Um, I will probably not use any of this because I plan on doing metal tracks. But uh, it looks that you can do, that you can make them workable. I'm not really sure, I haven't looked at the instructions. But as far as I know, they're all workable tracks, regardless whether you get this one or the the newer version of it. And then we have I'm gonna save the instructions for last, but this is the uh, the color chart. Very nice. Uh, they give you the um, that would be the oh come on, the Vallejo numbers. So these, uh, I like using Vallejo. Uh, Vallejo is the color I use. Uh, so that gives me an option as far as uh, looking up if I wanted to recreate what they have here. They got three different versions, but uh, it gives you the uh, color chart here on the bottom. Um, all in all, very nice. I like, this is a very nice uh, color chart. Probably, probably the better ones that I've seen. And lastly, it's a book. So, um, it is very nice. I mean, this is probably the best set of instructions I've ever seen, uh, just from the outside. I haven't looked in the inside, so, um, but it's something that you'd see if you were buying a car. Um, quite thick, obviously the first couple pages are just introductions, 
maybe a history, which it is, multiple languages of history. Um, it gives you some artwork on it, which is kind of cool. Um, it looks like it gives you or shows you a couple different versions of the same thing. Uh, perhaps you can even do each version of this, I'm not really sure. Um, but it tells you that there are different uh, versions of it, the D9R, the IDF D9R, and just different versions of D7H, whatnot. Uh, it does tell you the color mark, or the Vallejo, yeah, it is Vallejo, uh, the color numbers for it, which uh, is nice, and obviously the name for it. Uh, there are, it looks like there are three options, but looking at the uh, instructions, the instructions, just by looking at it straight away, look to be pretty decent. They don't look to be very complicated, which is uh, sometimes you run into, like as an example, the dragon kits where it's like, I don't know where that's pointing to. Uh, I don't know where it's telling me to put that or whatever. Uh, overall, these look to be pretty easy to understand. They go over, uh, they split it up into sections, so there's not like a whole lot of steps you have to do in one uh, one part. But yes, uh, I've looked through the, just glancing at all of it, it looks all really straightforward, nothing too difficult or uh, hard to understand. Obviously they give you the parts list, uh, the sprue list, whatnot, and then you got the, uh, actually, it must come with some photo etch that I didn't see. Yeah, it does, um, I almost forgot about this stuff. It does have some photo etch, um, and you have the decals, you know, a lot of, uh, different decals, you know, different numbers, so you can really number it whatever you want. Um, very little photo etch, though, it's just very minimal amounts. Um, not sure what parts they are, obviously, but, uh, I'll probably won't even end up using this because the photo etch I'm getting will probably have all these parts on it anyway. But it does have some uh, number plates on it with the raised numbers, so that's kind of cool. Um, it looks to be pretty decent quality photo etch too. Pretty thick, not flimsy like some some photo etch companies. Uh, but I do look forward to uh, building this. Uh, so if you want to check it out, see. Uh, what kind of things I run into again? Uh, the live stream is twitch.tv slash melonhead Orion. Um, feel free to come in, just hang out, uh, share your thoughts, ideas, any problems that you've run into while doing it, whatever you might have. Uh, again, I'd like to thank you guys so much for uh, checking the video out. Uh, if you have any uh, just suggestions or tips or whatever, you can also leave it down in the comments. Appreciate it. Uh, hopefully we'll see you around again uh, for some more of these uh, these unboxings uh, and I will try to do kind of a walk around once I've completed it that's when I have a lot of stuff to order for it so I won't be doing this one at immediately but I hope to get it uh, started pretty soon again thanks guys so much YouTube we'll see you ground and uh, happy modeling